Hi everybody and welcome back to IBEX Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a one hour interval treadmill workout. So I hope you guys are ready to get sweaty and if you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry because we're gonna have all that displayed for you to see on that screen right over here. And then if you look over onto the opposite side of your screen, you're gonna see this nice long progression bar that always shows you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Let's make sure we always have a water bottle and a towel handy because like I said, we're ready to get sweaty. So if you're Ready, let's look down at that tread. Hit that start button in three, in two, and one. Let's go, baby. Two, five, three, five. We're here for a minute. Okay, we got about four, ooh, like a four or five minute warm up. So let's just uh, walk it out. Breathing it out through our nose, right? We're here for another 45 seconds. Maybe start picking up the pace just a little bit more. And then we're gonna go right into a faster walk, maybe into a shuffle or taking it in right into a soft jog. So it's a one hour workout today. I hope you guys are ready. Let's mentally prepare ourselves now because we're gonna be here for a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Another 25 seconds. We're just gonna take it up. Four, five, four, oh, six, five. So look down at that tread. Give me a little bit more extra oomph, right? So that first minute we're at 2535, five, but let's slowly start to increase. Start adding it on, start building it up. Here we go. At another five, we pick it up 4065. Oh, if you're not ready to run, take it to a fast walk. Three, two, one, pick it up. Take mine to a soft jog. <clears throat> Good. Just breathing, just working, shaking out the arms. How are we feeling? Feeling good? All right, so I'll give you a roadmap. Four blocks, okay? So we have two minute runs, right? Block one, block three. Block one and block three are the same. Block two and block four are the same. Block one and three, we're working on our hills, okay? So it's a two minute interval, one minute walk and recovery. Those two minutes are on a hill. Ooh, I almost tripped. <laughs> you ever almost trip yourself running? I do it at least once every time I'm on the treadmill. Here we go. We're going to take it up to a soft incline and another five, four. Oh, I lied. We got another minute. Dun, 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 dun. Pick up your pace. 4065, right? Might as well add it on then. <laughs> We're not going to add on incline. At least add on some speed. Here we go. So. Now we have another 50 seconds. Then we take it on to our incline. All right, so then, let me go back to what we're doing today. So that one, one and three uh, blocks, those are our hills. Two minutes down, one minute off. You get one minute walk and recovery. Those are still on a hill though, okay? We're staying on the hill, we're just moving from a jog to a walk. Then, block two and block four. We're going four minute interval, three minute interval, two minute interval, one minute interval. The longer the interval, the slower the pace. The less time, more speed. Pretty simple. So, we do it twice, everything, then we go and live our life. All right, here we go. Give me two on that incline. In four, three, two, two on that incline. Get used to it, right? Maybe your lungs aren't warmed up yet, right? Maybe you're finding it hard to breathe. But that's what the warm up is for. It's kind of like kick-starting your body. Time to wake up. Time to work out. Let's get it together. You get a one minute walk and recovery, and then we go right into it. Right into that block number one. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, let's go. 30 seconds. <clears throat> gotta let it out. I got that cough, you know? It's the allergies. Spring is here. Dun, 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 20 seconds. We go flat road, 3040. And another, just about 10 seconds. Focus on your breath, focus on your breathing. We got six, five, four, three, two. Let's take it down flat road, 3040. One minute here, we're walking it out. All right. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> get it, I'll get it together, get it together, I promise. <clears throat> that one was it, it's gone for now. Okay, so these two minute hills, 5080, okay? 
All of them are going to be the same. We're staying on a three on the incline. So the paces are the same, 5 8 That doesn't mean you have to stay at the same pace. If 5 is you start there and you're like, okay, all right, I, I can go a little harder, take it up, right? You got this. Don't take the safe route, okay? The, the, the paces are there, they're optional. I'm not telling you to run at a five or run at an eight. Run where you can hold it for two minutes at a clip. All right, here we go. Give me that three on the incline. First one's the worst. You know the deal. We're going five, oh, eight, oh, three, two, one, pick it up. Remember, we're gonna walk and recover still on the hill though. So we're on this hill for like the next 11 minutes. 11 minute hill, boom, mm, mm, you're ready. Two minutes is good, right? Two minutes doesn't feel like too long of a time. You can push your pace a little bit, right? Maybe even if like this whole round, you were just like, okay, I'm gonna stick at this pace. And the next time we go to block number three, right? We do it again. Maybe we increase it then. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of options, right? You don't have to like always increase every single one. But if you want to, hey, ain't nobody holding you back. It's your, it's your run. Right? It's your workout. It's your body. You know what you need. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Well, we all know, know, we all know we don't need to quit. So quitting is not the option. Give me one more minute here. One more minute. We take it down to our walk. 3040. The lungs starting to warm up. Breath starting to get nice and easy. That's my favorite part. When you can feel like at first, it kind of feels like someone's sitting on your chest. Then all of a sudden, oh, they get up and you can breathe, right? Those lungs open. We have another 30 seconds. Keep going, keep going. All right, as I increase my incline, here we go. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Don't forget to smile. Last 15. I told you, first one. First one just wakes you up. The rest, smooth sailing. <laughs> you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk it out, three, oh, four, oh. Catch your breath here, okay? You did a good job on the first one. Maybe you were still warming up. That's okay. Maybe we are at the slowest pace. Maybe we are like, you know what? I can't, I have to slow down a little bit. You're, it's okay, you have to slow down. Maybe the next one you push, okay? Maybe even for that first 30 seconds, you push even faster. Go down to a more comfortable pace. Try to hold that for 90 seconds. We have four. Four in the first box. Two minutes on, one minute off, okay? Four little intervals. We go in 30 seconds. So shake out those arms, roll those shoulders down and back, and like set yourself up right here, right? Think in your head. Two minutes. Right, what do I gotta do? Where do I need to go in my head to finish these two minutes? That's what that's where we live, okay? Ten seconds, we do it again. Five oh, eight oh, three, two, let's pick it up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's go. We're running, 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 running. Two minutes on, one minute off. Squeeze that core. Pump those arms. It's all fun, right? Listen. We finish this round, we finish the next round, and then you're halfway there. Don't ask me why I think it was important to say that in this moment. <laughs> I still don't know, okay? I just wanted to, just wanted to give you a little perspective of where we're at, the beginning. Let's run, 90 seconds left. <sighs> starting to happen now, right? Your body's starting to feel a little lighter, easier to move. Yeah, baby, come on. What do you want today? What do you think it's gonna take to get there? What, what level do you have to get, right? You have one minute, and then you take it back down. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You're just pumping those arms, right? We're relaxing the shoulders, and you're focusing on your breath. Squeeze that core, pumping the arms. You got it, you got it. 15 seconds, keep working, keep running. Oh yeah, we love to run. 
all day, every day, right? You're coming up. Last 30 seconds. Remember, you get to walk on the other side of this. We go 3040 on that walk. Remember, we're staying on this hill. So like, just think, you run all the time, but you don't run on hills, and you feel a little gassed. That little elevation, it makes a big difference. 10 seconds. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk it out, 3040, right? We're not taking off the incline. Just slowing down the pace. Breathe, breathe it in. Hydrate, towel off, this is the moment here. We have two more in this round. Then we get a recovery in between block one and block two. That recovery's on a flat road. You know, you gotta, you gotta change it up a little bit. Normally running on a hill ain't something I do. I know you guys. So it's nice when I see these workouts and I, I'm like forced to do them with you. I'm like, oh yes, let's go. Not that I don't like to do them. They are tough, right? I love a challenge. Not in my thought process though, that's okay. I usually don't think about it. It's weird how that happens, right? Get so used to doing the same thing, some things just seem like so out of the norm. All right, we do it again. 5080. In eight, <clears throat> seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Just nice soft arms, right? Just keep the little arm swing landing on the ball of your foot. You have a pace, right? We're sticking to it. And we're not looking down at the tread. We're not looking at the time, counting backwards. When is this gonna be over? We're focusing on our breath. We're going to a place in our brain, right? Where we feel calm, where we can just go. Because a lot of time you stress out from running because you can't control your breathing, okay? Let's breathe. Let's work. We're coming up almost halfway there. Let's go, let's go. You're gonna give me one more minute. One more minute here, and then we get to walk and recover. Remember, you're not a quitter. Maybe, like I said, the first block is the hardest. Fight for it here, okay? It's almost there. Keep working. Look, uh, look ahead. See that version of you, right? The one that you picture all the time. If I, if I work this hard, this is what I look like, right? If I work this hard, this is how I feel. You're running towards that person. You are that person. This is what it takes to get there, to be that. Let's go, 30 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Oh, we going on a spiritual journey today, I can feel it. It's one of those days. Rachel's gonna get you in the feelings. 20 seconds. It's one of those do or dies, but you mentally have to be strong to physically be fit. They go hand in hand. Let's go, 15 seconds. You got it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. All right, listen, got one more in this round. Then you get to run without the, without the incline. Something to look forward to. I know it's not that much, right? But we're so, we've been on it this whole time. And the first, the first interval, you kind of start off where we ended, right? So block one, we end at 5.080. Block two, we start at 5.080. So you should feel a little bit of a difference between those two, right? Should be a lot easier to run it on that flat road. But we're gonna increase it by two minutes. Okay, hard for different reasons. You're just changing it up. Got 20 seconds, we do it one more time in this block. Flat road recovery on the other side of that. You ready? Oh yeah, baby. We accept the challenge here. 10 seconds, eight seconds, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Come on, give me two minutes on that clock. Two minutes right here. Breathing in and out through your nose. Keep pumping those arms. See, it's starting to feel a little easier. You know it is. You know you're starting to feel like this is the norm. 
It's not becoming too stressful. Your body's adapting to it, okay? Now we don't want it to get comfortable. We don't want to get used to the same pace. That's why the next round, we're gonna start picking it up and start running for different times. Not necessarily harder, just a little bit different. The challenge is different. We're not gonna say harder or easier, just different. I like this wordage. <laughs> it makes sense to me, right? Here we go. Give me one more minute, and then you get to take it. Flat road. You want me to serenade you guys, is that what it is? Sing to you? No problem. Gotcha. Pump those arms. Work those legs. Woo, baby. Good. We're like 15 minutes into our one hour workout. Just like that, it's happening. Right, just like that, quarter of the way there. Let's go, let's go, 30 seconds. We have another. Fifteen. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Good. One minute. Take it to that flat road. You got this here. All right, you guys ready? I know, I've spaced out. I'm matching times to numbers, I'm doing math in my head. Listen, trust me, the quietness is, I'm here, I'm planning. I'm just leading the way here. Okay, 30 seconds. We're gonna go four minutes on this flat road. Your pace, you can take it up a little bit faster than what it was before. Once you feel what it is, you're like, oh my God, I'm on that flat road. I'm at this pace. I didn't realize it was a walk in the park. You can increase it. Just remember, you're adding on two extra minutes. We're gonna go in three, in two, and one. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Four minutes, guys. We're here for four. We're here for four, so this is where you kind of just have to like tune everything else out, right? Because you've been up with us. I think I say it a lot. For me, anything over two or three minutes, you start to go into the head, right? You start to let the brain kind of take over. You have enough time, you're doing the same thing, right? Your body knows what it's supposed to do. So then that's when the brain starts to kick in. You're like, oh God, here I go. Self-doubt, negative talking. Nope, not today. You look ahead, you realize the only thing that matters in this moment is your success, right? Your want, your drive to push further, to be better. So nothing's gonna take you down, not even yourself, right? Let's go. And just like that, look, that's one minute down. You got three to go. What you gonna do? I'm gonna run it out. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. See, is the pace the same? Did you increase it? It's okay if you did it. Even if you only increased by 0.1, because through this round, that's really all we're asking for. It's 0.1, 0 0.2. We're not asking for like big jumps up. Just a little bit more. I swear, that's the way when to start increasing your pace without even realizing it, obviously. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. But I mean like, even when you're outside, and you're road running, right? You have to, you can't just do the same thing on the shred every single time. Your body gets used to the same thing. You gotta change it up. So even if it's 0.1, 0.2, and you really don't feel the difference, just do it anyways. Get used to it. We have two minutes. You're halfway there. Come on, come on, come on. Two minutes. Keep pumping, keep running. Gills, what are you? And finally, the weather finally broke here in New Jersey. It's been like, it's been like 40 degrees, right? I wake up and I go to work or start teaching around like 4.30 in the morning. 
It's always like 30 degrees out here. 30, 38 degrees. Nope, not this week. Solid 60. No more sweaters. No more hoodies. Summer ready. I love it. I love running in the summer. You know, some people like running in the winter. You guys are crazy. I don't like being cold. I'll take that heat. I'll take that extra sweat. I'll take that farmer's tan. You know? Keep it up, keep it up. You're gonna give me one more minute. Keep working. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Last 60 seconds. You get a one minute walk and recovery. Again, the walk and recovery is the same pace, but this time you're on that flat road. So it should be a little softer. You can even keep it faster, right? So you want to keep that heart rate high, keep it on that 4-0. I don't know, you would have thought four minutes would feel a lot longer, right? Yeah, you only got 30 seconds left. Keep going, keep going. Come on, team. We're not quitters. We're 20 minutes into this workout. You gotta just do that two more times. Two more 20 minute rounds. 15 seconds. Let's go, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's walk it out. Three, oh, four, oh. Somewhere in between there, right? Doesn't have to be a three, doesn't have to be a four. Somewhere in between. Even if you got the longest legs alive, and you uh, four is a slow walk, go for it. Take it up higher. All right, so now we did our four minute run. Done, check, complete, move on. Three minute run, all right? Five, one to eight, two. Wherever you were, point one minimum, point two maximum. You're adding that on. Okay, so if you were at a 6-0, you're at a 6-1-6-2. It's okay if you only wanna add on one. It's okay. We got, you're only 20 minutes into the workout. Okay, but you're pushing yourself a little bit more. That's perfect. Just give a little extra today. Right, today's the day, right? It's just like a sprinkle of Parmesan. It's not like a whole spoonful, you get a sprinkle. All right, we're going three, two, five, one, eight, two. Five, one, eight, two. Now you're here for three. Here for three, look at me, come on. You know you guys, anytime I can rhyme. I'm gonna do it, okay? The cheese ball in me will never die, never. Let's go, pump the arms. This feels good, right? Now, if you are as nervous about adding something extra on, how silly do you feel? You're like, oh God, I feel nothing. It doesn't feel different. That's right, baby. That's how it happens. Little steps, right? They don't feel like obstacles. Keep running though. We're coming up. Already almost one minute done, right? Once you get to the two and the one, again, it's like a walk in the park. It's just those extra couple minutes that make you, make you question yourself. We don't like doing that. Keep it going. All right, officially one minute down. Two to go. You got it. I love our workouts. I feel good, right? Usually when we do like the half hour ones, I want to do something a little extra, but these are perfect. And these are for every level, all right? I can promise you running at eight for four minutes is tough work. I don't care if you're like an Olympic athlete. You're still feeling that. You're still feeling running at eight. If you're not, Give me whatever it is that you had eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I guess uh, it's more than Wheaties. Let's go, right? Nothing bad. I'm just mean like, you got it, guys. 15 seconds, and then one more minute. Oh yeah! Dun 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 dun. Let's go. See when they're like longer than a half hour, these workouts is when you, you come to the table mentally prepared to fight, right? You're like, I got an hour, I'm getting it done. Yeah, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're almost there. 45 seconds, you get to walk and recover. How you feeling? Feeling good? You need some water? 
You got 40 seconds, and then you can take it, okay? You have 30 seconds. Then you can get that water towel off. Pump the arms. Let it out. Don't hold on to that breath, right? What I say, running is about breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. If you're having a problem holding your pace, you're probably holding your breath. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go walk it out. Three, oh, four, oh. All right, so we have that two minute, that two minute run and that one minute run. And that's it. And then we go back to our incline jogs. So how you feeling? Feeling good? Oh yeah. It's important when I talk about like the holding your breath thing, I'm not kidding because Take yourself out of running. Example, I've been boxing and sometimes when I'm boxing, right, I'm punching and I'm holding my breath. And then I'm like, I'm, in a, I'm a person that does so much cardio, I shouldn't be this much out of breath. All right, I'll pause that conversation. We're taking up in 30 seconds, up 0 0.1.2. So now that we're at a five, two, eight, four, wherever you were, you're increasing minimum 0 0.1, maximum 0.2. Okay, five, two, eight, four, it's only two minutes. We've already ran two minutes, four other times. We got this, we go in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, let's go. Five, two, eight, four. All right, back to my combo, okay? Holding your breath while you're running. It's okay if you're doing it, right? You don't even notice half the time you are doing it. Like I'm, my example of me going to my, I don't even know I'm doing it. All I know is I can't breathe. <laughs> like I, I am dying. What is happening, right? That's why for me, the talking is good, right? Even if you were not doing this with us or you're listening to the music or you're just going one, two, one, two, making a little bit of noise will kind of help you breathe, right? Cause you have to breathe to talk. It's just a little trick. So you can you ever hear people doing martial arts, right? When they're like, they're hitting and going, yeah, 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 or pew, 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 whatever their sound effect is, okay? Laser sound effects, pretty cool. But they're doing that so they can hear themselves breathe. So you can do the same thing with running. Just You're just kind of training yourself. Eventually you can take it away. But if you're having a hard time with trying to teach yourself how to breathe, you can do that, just whoosh, 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 whoosh. Sorry if it's in the mic. You know, anything to keep you going now, okay? Nice, see, when I keep you talking or I keep you listening, then you come back to the run and you're like, oh, you only got 40 seconds. Then you get to walk and recover. Oh yeah, baby, come on. Is that sweat down my neck? Oh, oh yeah. It's when the, when the heat turns on, right? I sweat down here differently. <laughs> it is different. And I love it. So let's go. 20 seconds. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. You're almost there. You get to walk and recover. And another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's go. 3050, 3040, sorry. Hee hee, hee hee. Guess what guys, I'm already flipping the page. You know what that means? We're about halfway there. You guys ready? So one minute, walk and recover. So again, increasing minimum 0.1, maximum 0.2. So we're at five, three, eight, six. And it's only a minute. So you could take this into a full blown sprint if you want, okay? You could take it somewhere. If you added, um, oh, I said maximum 0.2. If you don't wanna to listen to me, I'm not gonna tell on you. Your cigarette's safe with me, it's only a minute, okay? This is where you pick who you wanna to be today. Who you wanna be? Fighter, right? Quitter? Huh? We get to choose, 15 seconds. <clears throat> Five, three, eight, six. We go, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pick it up, baby. It's only a minute of your life. Only a minute, 60 seconds. I'll be done and over before you know it. You start feeling in that core, relax your shoulders. Sometimes we start to run, our breath starts to get tight, and then we do this, okay? 
relax. Sometimes you'll see me do this, right? If I'm running for a long time, I shake out my arms and I keep them moving. Let's do it, go ahead. It feels nice. You look a little crazy, that's fine. We're all a little crazy. And you keep running. 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. You get to walk and recover. Walk and recover. And another 15. The walk is nice, right? In between. That way you can feel like you can get everything done. Every interval. It doesn't seem too crazy. You get to walk in between. Here we go in three, two, one, three, oh, four, oh. All right. We're done with block number two. 30 minutes into this workout. You got 30 minutes to go. We do everything one more time. Mm. Smell good, okay? I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go three on the incline. We're doing exactly the same thing. So 508, oh, you don't have to change the pace. You don't have to change the pace. You can keep it the same. But you have four intervals. So even if like you take it up for the first minute and you take it a little down, or vice versa, you take it down and then the next minute you take it up, you don't have to just be like, okay, I did this the first round, I have to do it the second round. No, 5080. Oh, so much you can do there, okay? We're just giving you options. You gotta take the reins right here, okay? It's okay if one is slow, the next one is fast. It's okay. You have options, what I'm saying. Get ready to take it up. Me three on the incline. Oh, did I not? I never took my incline down. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's, that's it. Let's go, 5080. That's like in true Rachel fashion. Just never took the incline down. Just been on incline the whole time. Bonus, you didn't even feel it. That's what I told you, see? All right, it's only two minutes here. Two minutes on, one minute up. We're walking up that hill, walking, recovering, still on a hill. The next, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 minutes. I'm getting better at math, guys. This is, this is all because of you. Listen, you help, I'm helping you, you helping me. Okay, it's all one love, one world. You're helping me add and subtract daily. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. You got another 60 seconds. Keep pumping it out. I mean, you guys, can you believe you've been running for like a half hour already? Time flies, right? 60 seconds. That's me breathing. Up the hill, working hard. I can feel it, right? Sometimes I start squeezing my core and I'm like, wanna focus on my abs. I automatically feel my shoulders rise. So it's like every now and then, right? As they say like every seven seconds, your muscles disengage. So that's how much you have to kind of like, literally be into what you're doing. Like even if your brain goes somewhere and you're in that running zone, you have to make a conscious effort to continuously check in with your form, your breathing, and it doesn't take a lot of effort. You're just like, oh, okay, okay? Maybe at first, you don't even think about it. After a while, you start feeling it. You're like, oh my, shoulder should thick. Oh, I'm doing this. Here we go, three, two, one, take it down. I'm just saying, like, there's more normalcies. Like, if you, there's no really wrong way to work out. If you're moving your body for a half hour, right? Obviously you wanna do everything as efficiently as possible. You don't wanna do something to hurt yourself, but if you're giving yourself and dedicating whatever time it is, and you're moving your body, okay? Don't beat yourself up that you're not at 8.0, right? That you're struggling at two minutes, that even the walk feels like, like work. Take that, take that little pressure off yourself. You're already here. You're committed to the time. You're committed to the consistency, right? That's gonna give you the growth. That other stuff, that's the worldly pressures, right? The stuff we don't really need. That's just you like nitpicking. Don't nitpick. Give yourself a pat on the back for the stuff you are doing, okay? Don't take yourself down for the stuff that you don't think you're capable of yet or like you're having a hard time. It's not important. What's important? All right, here, right now, we go three, two, one, pick it up. All right, five, oh, eight, oh. I know, I told you, a minute goes by fast. <laughs> you think you get a minute? You think you're gonna just chill for a minute and not like get snapped back to reality? Not here, let's go. Even me, see? Endorphins are kicking in. 
the mouth won't stop talking. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> Getting ready. 90 seconds left. Keep going. Keep running. <sighs> How are you feeling? This pace is good, right? The hill is comfortable. Three is a good hill. Looks like a normal hill on the side of the road because if you're ever like running, you notice like it's not flat. It's going up a little bit. You're like, I wonder what that incline is. It's probably somewhere like this. I don't know real facts, all right? But I can't imagine it. you would like visibly see like a four or five, a six, a seven. A three, just like a small, it's like you're just, you can't see down. You're just constantly seeing road ahead. You're like, what is she talking about? Go outside and run. <laughs> Go outside. Look at the road when you're running. Look at it in front of you. You know what I'm talking about. 40 seconds. We get to walk and recover. Then you have two more in this round. Two more times to run in this incline. Done with this block. And then we only have one more block to go. So, you think about it, we're more than halfway through. We're more than halfway through the workout. More than halfway through this third block in this workout. I'm gonna say workout one more time. <laughs> it's okay, I gotta make fun of myself. Don't laugh at yourself. I don't know, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go. 3040. Might take some water here. <sighs> A little thirsty, you know? <sighs> Delicious. All right. 45 seconds. Ready to do it again? <sighs> 5080. We have two minutes. I'll walk and recover. Two minutes, done with the hills. Done with the hills for the rest of the day. Okay, in 30 seconds we go. <sighs> you guys, you're large and in charge, okay? You are tough, you are strong, you're not a quitter. We've already came this far. Let's finish this. <laughs> spit all over the treadmill. <laughs> you would think I spit so much when I talk, man. We gonna finish this. Here we go in 10 seconds. <sighs> It ain't sweat, it's my own spit. Here we go, here we go, five, four, three, two, pick it up, 5080, you know that saying? I don't sweat, I sparkle. Well, I don't sweat, I just spit, apparently. <laughs> Come on, ha, <sighs> two minutes here. This should feel nice and easy. Now this pace, if you're like still around the same pace and we're just focusing on running up that hill, you should be Gucci at this point, okay? <sighs> you're focusing on your breath. You're like, Rachel, stop talking. Let me focus on my run. Ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna keep talking. We gonna keep running. Here we go, 90 seconds. Breathe. Let's go, let's go. What do you want, right? How much effort do you think it requires for you to obtain the thing that you want? Because if we're here, we're like, focus on losing weight and your weight is like 50 pounds. How hard you think you need to work to lose 50 pounds? You think it's gonna happen just like that. And I'm not saying, I think it's where people get it wrong. I'm not saying you have to give 110%, but do you think that you can work out for one time and then work out four days later and you're gonna get to that place that you wanna go? No. Cut that time in half. If you're cut, we were getting for an hour, try 35, 45, but make it every day, right? I'm not telling you to cut your, your workouts in half, but Give yourself as much time, right? Stay consistent. 10 minutes a day, right? 15 minutes a day. Then every now and then, you get these longer runs in. Do something for yourself every single day. I say this all the time. You have one life. You have one body. This is yours. This life is yours. We all have to work, right? We all have responsibilities. But nobody can take this away from you and you're the only person in charge of taking care of it. So. If you have been lacking and you have been slacking, wake up, right? This is your reality check. If you're not good to this, it ain't gonna be good to you, right? It sucks in the moment. Hate you now, love me later. Take it down, three, two, one, walk it out. <clears throat> I know, I had to be mean there. It's not usually how I am. I'm usually a nice lady. This is called reality check, okay? 
you either know or you don't know, and now you know. <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face. You got one more, okay? One more, two minute on a hill. Guess what, we're done with the hills after this. 30 seconds we go. It's no surprise, no shock. You already know what's coming. So now you just say, okay, time to show up for myself. Show up, get it done, keep it moving. All right, 20 seconds we go. You have one more block after this. That's it. One more block. I'm gonna get that burp out. Man, you know, run it, it's just like squeezing your, your stomach and just like blah, blah, blah. five, four, three, two, pick it up. I know I talk about my burping skills a lot, but I'm sure you guys can hear it. <laughs> Let's go. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Just two more minutes, okay? Then you just have a four, a three, a two, a one. You have four more intervals after this one. And then we're done. Dun, da, 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 da. Let's go, let's go. See, it wasn't too crazy. It wasn't too stressful. We have 20 minutes left of the workout. And I know you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm almost done. I feel like I have more to give. And you're gonna give it. You're gonna give it, I know. You got anything left in the gas tank? Block four, we're leaving it all there. We're gonna finish this round, walk and recover, and enjoy picking up that pace on that flat road. You're gonna give me 60 more seconds here. Again, inhale through your nose, exhale, let it go. Try to slow down those exhales. Don't overstress it, right? Don't overly prolong it. Your body will kind of let you know when it's time to inhale. You got this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pushing off that back foot, right? Driving your legs forward. Squeezing your core. Pumping the arms. All of it goes hand in hand. It's a full body workout. You're moving your whole body. You have 30 seconds. Come on, team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Last 20. <sighs> Keep breathing, 15 seconds. Looking good in the hood right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slow it down. 3050. <sighs> I said it again, 3040. You can come down, walk. 304, it's just a walk. All right, one minute here. Take it off that flat road. Finally! <laughs> Finally, I'll know what it's like to be on this flat road. All right. Remember, it's a four minute, a three minute, a two minute, and a one minute. Same thing, right? There's no surprise. Doing the same thing in block two as we are in block four. Increasing minimum 0.1, maximum 0.2. Again, when you get to the last one, you wanna rim up that engine. You got a little something extra in the gas tank. You just, you just let your little heart fly, okay? We got 20 seconds. First one's 5.08.0. We uh, kind of leave off where we took, we take off where we landed. Is that what I'm trying to say? So the last two minutes on that hill, right? We're just kind of at that same pace, but now we're on that flat road. If it's way too easy, pick it up. We're going four, three, two, and one. Does it feel a little different? It should feel like a little bit easier to maintain, right? I'm not talking about like zero to 100, but like at least zero to 10, it feels 10% better. I told you, look at me doing math again. <laughs> now we got percentages in here. You guys, I'm like a human calculator. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> mom joke. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, two and a, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes, dang it. Just when I thought I was good at math, go ahead and mess it up. See, we all make mistakes too. You gotta get used to it. I think like, there's always one point where I fumble my words, something don't make sense. In my heart, I'm giving it my best shot, okay? Same with working out. There are gonna be moments where you feel like you're not doing good. You feel like you could be doing more, but you're giving your best effort in the moment. That's all that matters, right? It's a journey, right? Enjoy it. You're gonna get to where you wanna be when you know that you're enjoying the process of working hard. 
And it's gonna feel so much better. You got it, you got it. We're at 90 seconds in, two and a half to go. I know this first one's the longest. If you've never ran over two minutes, give yourself a pat on the back just for that alone, right? You're like, okay, because running straight for four is just gonna open the door for five, and so on and so forth. That's how you do it. You don't just go away and, I mean, there is people that have done it. I don't know how they do it. They just go outside and they can just run miles. Never ran before. But majority, right, requires practice, requires patience. You gotta be nice to yourself, right? Don't beat yourself up. Run for an hour, right, straight. That's a lot of work. I'm not just talking physically. Because mentally, you want to talk yourself out of it. You're like, with it, to try this workout, no walking recoveries, next level. Whew. So give yourself a little credit, dude. You're doing an hour, right? You're doing what you need to do to finish the hour. Whew. 90 seconds left. Yep. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Whew. Come on, team. You're already coming up on that last minute mark. And then you get to walk and recover. And we only have three more intervals. Uh-huh. Yes, baby, yes, baby, yes. Even me, I'm like, dang. Sometimes I'm tired. Yo, we did that Lori Harvey one. Anybody did that Lori Harvey one with us? I was like, Ooh, this girl's crazy. She's crazy. Why does she run this fast? I'm not made for speed, okay? Some of us are just made to go the distance. <laughs> Doesn't matter how long the journey, we're just there for the ride, okay? Those sprints, man, those require effort. I loved it, though. It's like crazy because it was crazy in the moment. When you're done, you're like, oh, yeah. Like you were quite, you know how much work you put in in minimal amount of time. That feels good. All right, 15 seconds. Let's go, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, take it down. All right, you're 3040. This is where we start to increase the pace, right? Minimum point one. Maximum point two. Three minutes. Uh huh. Ladies, gentlemen, you may have long ponytails. How many times did your ponytail get stuck in your armpit? Because I'm not be like this. <laughs> you got long ponytails, you know what I'm talking about. You really instantly give yourself whiplash. I would do it a lot, okay? Where when I'm boxing now, my ponytail whips me in my mouth. I literally <gasps> choke on my own hair. This thing is a weapon. You guys ready? Three minutes. We go five, one, eight, two. I feel like that broad from Mortal Kombat. The one that whips you with the hair. We go in three, two. Let's go. Flawless victory time. Come on. Five, one, eight, two. Three minutes here. Uh huh. Finish it. I'm just gonna say Mortal Kombat quote from here to the end of the workout. Don't worry, it's only 12 minutes. <laughs> Ew, let's go. You could tell. I'm gonna have a lot of friends growing up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Keep running. Let's go. 30 seconds. <sighs> Two and a half minutes. I wanted to say 90 so bad, but I knew it was wrong. Come on, come on, come on. To the finish line. We work hard, right? And we love it. This is what we do for fun here. We're running for two more minutes. Focusing on our breath. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, last two. How are we feeling? Feeling good? Look at me. Don't look down. You're okay. You got this. You're strong. Right? Tough. Uh-huh. 
not gonna quit. Mm -mm. Let's go. You guys know we have two more intervals after this. 49 minutes into this workout. 10 minutes left. We have a two minute. And then a one minute. 90 seconds. Let's keep it up. Keep breathing, keep working. Relax your shoulders down. Good, keep those feet underneath you. Soft, soft grip in the hands. Let me go. Only 60 more seconds. Right here, right now. Here we go, exactly 50 minutes into this workout. Squeeze that core. You feel those abs working? When I was run-a-thon, run -a -thon, marathon training, I had like always felt when I anything like over like six or seven miles, oh, you could feel the core, man. After, so like it's everybody's gonna feel it differently, right? But for me, it was like somewhere like five or six. I could feel my back being sore, my core being sore, stuff like you don't normally like. You when you run, you're focusing on your legs, right? Your glutes, your calves, your shins. They have shin splints, right? The rest of the stuff you when it happens, you're like, oh, oh, extra. Look at this. I might wanna get a six pack now. And then you pull up your shirt and you're like, fuck yeah, I got one. You go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go, three, oh, four, oh. You guys, we're at the finish line. We're at the finish line. Two minutes, which we've done so many times by this, by, at this point, right? And then one minute, which is like a no-brainer. Uh -uh. You guys ready for it? 40 seconds, grab some water. It's a five, two, eight, four. So remember, wherever you are, minimum add on is 0.1, the maximum 0.2, two minutes, no incline. Inhale through your nose, exhale, slower, longer. That's gonna help you bring that heart rate back down. That way, you can just kind of pick up. Right? You can have a few good deep breaths, fill up those lungs, get a little, get new air and new oxygen, new life, and then attack. Let's get ready to attack in three, two, one, five, two, eight, four. Five, two, eight, four. Two minutes on this clock. Just tune out, right? We're almost there. You don't feel no pain. You're not tired, right? You're not focused on, oh my God, I want to be finished. Nope. You have 90 seconds left in this one. Look at me. You're good. You're good. You didn't come this far to give up now, okay? You didn't come this far to slow down and stop early. You're not going to be happy if you quit here, all right? So take whatever it is, right? Dig in deep. Figure it out, right? Get rid of all that trauma. Run it out. If I'll never have a bad day, I don't think I ever run that fast in my life. I'm mean, like, six minute mile, I'm like, what? What? Pure anger. We all got it, it's fine, work it out. It's the best form of therapy right here. Put it back into you, right? Doing something good for you. What's gonna happen when you give it everything you got and you run hard? Is there a negative to that? I don't think so. Maybe you're tired. Guess what, you get a glorious nap. Still don't see a downside. No downside. Let's go. You're coming up. 40, four zero. A little over a half, a half, half a minute. I'll get it out. Half a, half a, half a, a half a minute. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, one more. One more and that's it. And then we walk for the rest of this workout. Stay here for 20. Relax. You're good. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's walk it out. Three, oh, four, oh. All right, five, three, eight, six. You're gonna give me 60 seconds. Now I know, I say optional point, uh, minimum point one, maximum point two. This one, 
Anything extra you want to give. You want to go full blown sprint. Caca! Caca! You fly away, little eagles. Right? You leave the nest. You just take off. You soar. 60 seconds, okay? You go in 30. You have a couple minutes, not a minute, you have a couple, a couple seconds. Bring it in. Let it out. You ready? <laughs> don't ask. I don't know. I'm just ready for this minute. Here we go. Five. Five, three, eight, six, and four, three, two. Pick it up. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on. I mean, I mean, come on. We got this. Easy peasy. You have four zero, four zero seconds left. That's a little bit more than 30 seconds. And 30 seconds is nothing. Anybody do that 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, that GPT one? Yo, that thing, 30 minutes, it went by like that. Like that. 30 seconds literally is one thought, <laughs> right? It goes in and out that quick. Last 20. We're gonna take it down one minute at a 3040. You have another. You can count with me if you want. Right here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Take it down. All right, 3040. Don't go to the slowest one yet. Don't go to the slowest pace. Keep it a little fast, right? You have a two minute cool down. So just breathe. Just breathe. You made it, you're there. There's nothing extra hard, right? You've reached the finish line. This is your victory lap, okay? You just always kind of want to allow your body to bring itself down, the heart rate to come down naturally, right? Going from zero to 100, heart rate high, to a steady staff, that's no bueno, So no good, okay? Take it a time, even if it's a minute, bring it back down, all right? This also gives you a little time to just kind of like soak it all in. Right, if you haven't really been on the treadmill for an hour, and like you're a 30 minute topper, 45, yo, kudos to you, this isn't an easy workout. You make this as hard as you want. That's the best thing about it. We go two, five, three, five. Let's take it down right here, three, two, one. There we go, so we're just cooling it down. We'll kind of like just recap. What we did is an hour long workout, right? So, there was only two different blocks. The first block, we worked on running on hills, right? Burning a little bit more fat, running up that hill, con concentrating on working more of the core, right? When running up the hill, you're, you're focusing more on the quads and the push off, and then the, the core is starting to work, so it feels more aggressive. So two minute intervals, four rounds. We did that twice, block one, block three, right? And then we kind of worked on our endurance and our pacing in block three and block four. We started with those longer runs with the softer pace, and then as the, the time decreased, our pace increased. So those longer runs, slower pace, shorter runs, fastest. And look at that. You just kind of switched it up. That's what the good thing about these workouts is you don't get, have to get stuck in a rut doing the same thing over and over again because usually human nature, right? We're, we end up becoming creatures of habit and it's not in a bad way. It's like we get used to, it's comforting, right? To know what's coming ahead, to doing the same thing. But then your body it can stick. It sticks and it stays. We need to constantly be changing and that's why these workouts are great because they're never the same. Constantly different. Even if it's just like a 0.1 difference, it's still something new, it's still something different. We got about 40 seconds. Just remember that we started this new thing, right? We wanna make sure we're holding everybody accountable and everybody that does these workouts is also holding everybody else accountable. So you only win this emoji once you complete the workout. And since it's beautiful springtime and the sun is finally out, this is the secret emoji. Text or comment this comment this in the sections, right? And if you see anybody else who posts this, you know they finished. You know they did the same thing you did, right? Maybe they didn't have the same experience. Maybe you were did really good. Maybe they struggled. So give them a pat on the back because you don't know what anybody else is going through, right? One love, one team, one world. Ibex running, I'm Coach Rachel. So a one hour interval treadmill workout. Let's hit that stop button in three, two, one. And I'll see you next time.